you know, based on yesterday's mm -hmm. practice, guys were getting close. Do you have yeah. a clearer idea? Uh, yeah, I mean, Jeff is probable. Um, Jared and uh, Derek will be questionable. Um, you know, and then uh, Tyus is doubtful. Have you um, allowed yourself to even think about what this team looks like as pieces come back, or do you sort of wait for pieces to come back and then react? Yeah, I mean, you, you have you have thoughts on, on you know, what the team could be uh, when everybody's healthy with things, uh, but we, have, we haven't been healthy. So, I mean, you have, you have ideas and thing, things that you might want to incorporate that you have to wait for some guys to get back um, on it all, but it helps seeing some, some other faces uh, back on the court. How much stock Ryan do you put in plus minus and specifically with Dario? I mean, look, mm -hmm. it's a losing streak, but yeah. plus minus is pretty darn good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that is something I look at. I don't put, um, you know, it's not everything uh, plus minus wise, but it's definitely something, hey, when you're on the court and um, if good things are happening, um, a lot of times that, that warrants, um, you know, wh whether it be adjustments or th things like that. So um, we, we, we have looked at that. Have you thought about putting him in the starting lineup? Thought, we thought about it with things, so we'll see move, moving forward. I don't know. Hey, Ryan, uh, what, do, what do you see from the Clippers since they've made their trade and kind of mm -hmm. changed up things quite yeah. a bit since then? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a deep team, um, and their bench was already good. Uh, they had, you know, one of the best bench scorers, um, you know, we've ever seen in, in Lou, Lou Williams. Uh, and then you add, um, you know, guys like Shamit, um, who had a great game the other night. And then they also have pieces that plug into their starting lineup where they have some guys who can go to the bench now. Um, and you know they're a form formidable foe in the uh, in the West. How much more difficult is it to prepare when a team has so many moving pieces and parts so closely to a game, and there's kind of a limited sample size of what you can watch? Yeah, I mean it, it is, it is. But we expect them to, um, you know, play fast, um, play out in transition, uh, play within pick and rolls. Uh, so it's kind of kind of the things that that you see um, they were doing when they were successful against Boston the other night. Brandon, just in terms of preparation, how much of it uh, is even looking at what the opponent is doing and more so concentrating on what you guys are yeah, doing? Yeah, we focused a lot on, on us, um, on trying to take care of our defense um, with things, you know, where, where we can, you know, make strides. We spent, you know, a good amount of time yesterday on that. And, you know, offensively, we've been, been able to score the ball, so we know that our defense has to improve. With guys starting to participate a little bit more, how much of a lift do you see just in the last couple of days? Because we were on the road and the mm -hmm. injured players weren't on the road. Being around them and seeing them start to get active, is that just yeah. boosting spirits? Yeah, no, it, it is a lift. It's it's like injecting you know a new guy into the team um, almost. Uh, you know where where a guy you haven't seen for you know weeks or, or a month, um, something like that. It's it's uh, seeing him back out there and you know everybody gets along on this team, so um, they want their teammates to do well. Ryan, as strange as it was for all these point guards to get hurt kind of at the same time, is it also a little strange that they're kind of on a similar timeline for coming back, that you get, might get them all back yeah. in a roughly the same timeline too? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, obviously nothing I had expected, um, but, you know, it's better to have them back uh, all at the same time as opposed to, um, you know, everybody back later in the year. So I'd rather have them back sooner than later. Ryan, we've kind of made a big deal over the minus points for mm -hmm. the range shots mm -hmm. at, at practice. Obviously, in the games, there are times where those yeah, shots are okay. Yeah. What, when specifically are you, are you looking to say that is a good shot or yeah. we, we want you to take that? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it's, it's one of those things that, you know, players are, you know, they've been playing for so long that it's, it's hard to tell a guy completely, like, hey, you don't ever take this shot. You know, because you have to read, what do we say as coaches and, and, you know, just people in general, you have to read the defense or you have to read your surroundings. So a lot of times, you know, if we see um, a big back and pick and roll, some teams do still play uh, where a big is back and pick and rolls. All right, that elbow jumper, you know, that's a good shot. And if it's one you work on, um, that's an even better shot. So we, we look at it that way. But it, the main thing is trying to take out the, you know, maybe contested long twos within, you know, two, three feet in front of the three-point line or, or having your toe on the three-point line, those shots as opposed to, you know, stepping back a little bit. Are there certain players who have a bigger scope? Obviously, Andrew shoots a lot mm -hmm. of those. It's, is that, I mean, is it okay for him to be taking that because he's a bigger part of the offense? Everybody's going to everybody's gonna be a little bit different, um, but we're still going to stress what we stress. Uh, but we understand that some guys are more comfortable um, and it might take a little more time. It's just been obvious, I guess, the gravity of this game practice yesterday, shoot around today. I mean, the difference between being six back and four back, obviously, is. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's big. We understand uh, this is a team that's in front of us. Uh, for us to, um, you know, make some headway, uh, we need to win, win a tiebreaker. 
um, or, or be in that picture. So we understand, you know, the magnitude of this.